The Kids in Mrs. Z's Class is a new chapter book series. Each book in the series will feature a student in the class, and each book will be written by a different author. Hi, I'm Dan Skinner, and welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Ahead, we'll explore the book series and talk about the inspiration and planning behind it. We'll also discuss the first two books in the series, Emma McKenna, Full Out, and Rowan Murphy Has a Plan. Kate Messner is a New York Times bestselling author who's written more than 60 books for kids, and you can learn more about her in the description below. She's the author of the first book in the series and will also write the last book in the series, and she's leading the team of authors who will write the rest of the books. Kate, welcome to the Kids Bookshelf. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. Well, tell us about how the idea for this series came together. That was a really um, interesting story. It actually started with an email. It started with an idea from my editor, Cheryl Klein at Algonquin Books for Young Readers. I got this email a couple of years ago with the subject line, idea for Kate Messner. And she uh, had this notion that she wanted a multi-author series about all of the kids in one third grade class and asked if I would be interested in heading it up, in writing the first and last books, and building a team of authors to write all of the other books, to develop the characters, uh, and then working with that team to create the world in which we'd all be writing. And I have to be honest, it sounded like too much fun to say no, so I uh, signed up immediately. Well, this is a chapter book series, so for what age group is it intended? Uh, it's going to be best for readers in second to fifth grade, although it's going to be a pretty great read aloud for kindergarten and first graders, too, I think. Well, tell me about the challenge of putting together this team of writers and then as a team creating this whole world for the series to occupy. Yeah, the tricky thing about this series is it's 18 kids in one third grade class, so 18 different characters, 18 stories, each written by a different author, and 18 secrets, because every kid has a secret that you only get to learn in their book. The challenge is that everybody's main character is a secondary character in everybody else's book. And so we knew that one of the great uh, challenges was going to be maintaining continuity with those characters from book to book. So it's involved heaps and heaps of collaboration among our team of authors. And we're lucky we have some of the uh, not only most talented, but some of the friendliest, most flexible people in the business on board. So it's been, it's been going really well. So how did that process work? How did you go about deciding as a group, you know, the city that the school is located in, the school itself, et cetera? So Emma McKenna and all of her friends are third graders at a brand new magnet school called Curiosity Academy. And we named the school together. We set it in the fictional town of Peppermint Falls. And we had every kind of meeting you can possibly imagine. We had smaller group meetings over coffee and breakfast. We had Zoom meetings with the whole group. We had a Slack channel. We have Google Docs. We've been firing emails back and forth, but pretty much together we brainstormed that town. I sent out a note that said, okay, what would your character like to see in our fictional town? Uh, and people wrote back and, and piece by piece, we built this town. Um, Poppy Song, who's right here on Emma's cover, uh, is Karina Young Glazer's character. And she let me know that her character and her family live in an apartment above a gym. And we named that gym Crunch Time Fitness. So that's one of the businesses on our town main street. Uh, a couple of our characters, Memo and Theo, uh, decide, uh, well, the, the authors who wrote those characters, William Alexander and Mike Zhang, decided that their characters were best friends and that they loved dragons and comics. And so they requested a comic and game store in town. We named it Doom Scroll. Uh, and bit by bit, piece by piece, business by business, uh, our fictional town came together. We named the teachers at Curiosity Academy, uh, came up with uh, sort of a schedule for the school year, what the class would be learning every month or so, uh, and then invented our stories from there. It's been just so much fun. And then the character I assume that goes through all 18 of the books would be Mrs. Z. Um, what sort of characteristics does she embody? I was just curious about how you were imagining this teacher and the sort of qualities that the authors wanted to make sure she had. So our school is a brand new school named Curiosity Academy, and curiosity, as you can imagine, is at the heart of it. So everything is inquiry-based. 
Um, and Mrs. Z is one of those teachers that honestly, we all would love to have. She's open to every possibility. She's very student centered. She is curiosity centered. Uh, she calls the kids curiosity seekers and problem solvers. Uh, has really high expectations for them, but also heaps and heaps of empathy. She's one of those teachers who remembers what it was like to be eight years old. And uh, her classroom is just so much fun. I'm talking with Kate Messner about the Kids in Mrs. Z's Class, a chapter book series. And our conversation continues in a moment. If you're enjoying this discussion, please subscribe, like, and click on the bell so you'll know when I post new interviews. And thank you. So the first two books of the series are out now, and you wrote the first book. And as you pointed out, you'll also write the, the last book in the series. But tell us about this first book and the story that readers will find here. Yeah, so I had the challenge of having the first two weeks of school to talk about. So we join Emma McKenna on the very first day of school at Curiosity Academy. She is understandably a little nervous because it's a brand new school. She won't know any of her classmates, and that means she won't have any friends right away. But the truth is, she's also really excited for that fresh start because not knowing anybody also means that she won't have any enemies. And last year in second grade, Emma didn't have the best year. She had a talent show disaster that left her with a very unfortunate nickname given to her by her ex-best friend, Lucy. So Emma is super excited for this fresh start. She walks into school on the first day at Curiosity Academy, and guess who's in her class? It's Lucy. So she has to figure out how to make friends as fast as possible before Lucy tells everybody what happened the year before. So um, it's one of those friendship stories. I, I talk with so many third graders, second and third graders, when I was getting ready to write this book. I do school visits all over the country, all over the world, in fact. And for the past few years, I've been talking with third graders, particularly when I visit and saying, you know, what are the best things about third grade? And what are the toughest things about third grade? And one of the things that almost universally came up were friendship struggles. I broke up with my best friend or my old friend doesn't like me anymore. And so I knew that was something that I really wanted to tackle in this first book in the series. And tell us about the second book and the author for it. Yeah. So our second book in the series, which launches uh, at the same time, so it's also out now, is Rohan Murthy Has a Plan. And this one is written by Rajani Laraka, a Newbery Honor winning author who is also just an amazing human being. And in her book, Rohan Murthy is uh, in the second couple weeks of September. So the school year has started, but there are still lots of exciting new things coming up. And at the beginning, he learns that the class is going to be setting up a garden, a school garden, and that they need to raise money for their seedlings and their supplies. And Rohan comes up with an idea for a business to raise money for the school garden. And maybe you can guess from the cover, it's a pet sitting business. Uh, there's just one small problem, Rohan's a little afraid of animals. So that's the, the uh, trouble that he has to overcome in the second book in this series. All of these books are really aimed at um, exploring the heart of third graders, right? Those small things that make a huge difference in our world when, our se when we're seven and eight and nine years old. Well, that was going to be my next question. In terms of being more than just an entertaining read, are there some overarching themes that you want to carry through this series? You know, so even though only the first two books are out right now, I've had the, the joy of reading the first eight books because the next uh, six are at various stages of production. You know, some have just been turned in, some are being revised and edited and illustrated. And I would say the things that the, the real overarching theme of this um, is that everybody has a story. You know, when we're kids and we walk into a new classroom, we're really focused on ourselves and our own fears and our own worries. But it doesn't take too long to look around and realize that everybody else has worries too. Uh, and they have their own fears. And we all have those, you know, those concerns that, that make us tick and that drive our actions sometimes. So I think one of the big overarching things that, um, that our characters have explored and that readers will explore too as they read this series is empathy. The idea that everybody is the main character in their own story. Right, whether they're a kid in your third grade class, or you know maybe this kid in the corner uh, of the cover of the first book in Mrs. Z's class. This is Olive, and she'll get her own book uh, when we get to book seven. 
So you've released the first two books. How often do you anticipate the the next editions coming along? So the books are releasing two at a time. Uh, So we have the first two books, Emma McKenna, Full Out, and Rohan Murthy Has a Plan, out now. In October, the next two books come out. That's Poppy Song, Bakes Away by Karina Jan Glazer and The Legend of Memo Castillo by William Alexander. And then our next two books featuring the characters Wyatt and Ayana uh, come out in March 2025. And those are written by Elliot Schrafer and Kekla Magoon. And so pretty much every few months after that, readers can expect two more books. It was a really ambitious publishing schedule, but we also understand that once chapter book readers get excited about a series, they want those books now. Uh, And we know that once kids read the first book in this series and meet all the kids in Mrs. Z's class, they're going to be anxious to read about that next character that they're curious about. What can you tell us about the illustrator for this series? We are wildly lucky. Um, We were all pinching ourselves uh, when we heard the illustration news. Uh, Kat Fajardo is our illustrator. She is a Pura Bel Prey honor illustrator. Um, She has done some graphic novels and comics, and she just captured the spirit of these kids in Mrs. Z's class. So um, in addition to the cover art and designing all of our characters, Uh, She also did illustrations for every chapter in the series that capture really just the the lively nature of uh, of the series. Um, Now, there's one scene in this book. This uh, cat told me that this is actually her favorite scene to illustrate in Emma McKenna Full Out. And that is a scene where Emma, in this desperate attempt to make friends, uh, jumps up on a school lunch table and starts throwing gummy worms to everybody for Eat an Extra Dessert Day. Emma's a little obsessed with unusual holidays. Uh, And that's the cover, the illustration that's um, gracing the cover of the book as well. So we are just wildly excited that Kat Fajardo was on board to work with us. This new chapter book series with multiple authors is the Kids in Mrs. Z's class. Kate Mester is one of the authors and the coordinator for this book series. Kate, thank you for talking with me today. Thanks so much. I'm so excited and grateful for you for sharing the new series with families. Now, if you'd like to purchase books in the Kids in Mrs. Z's Class series, I placed a link for you in the description below. Thank you for watching this edition of the Kids Bookshelf. And if you'd like to see more videos about children's books and their authors, be sure to subscribe, like, and click on the bell to be notified about future programs. And if you're interested in books for young adult and older readers, be sure to check out my Some Books Considered channel, and you'll find a link to that below as well. I'm Dan Skinner. Until next time, keep sharing the gift of reading.